So our department at Macomb County Public Works has been incredibly focused on trying to make sure that we can reduce, with a goal to eliminating at some point, uh, combined sewer overflows. And these are in the older parts of, the, of our county, certainly. And so we are at a facility called Chapaton, which is our major pump station, our retention basin, located at Nine Mile and Jefferson, practically right on the corner. And uh, we have really focused our attention here in a number of different areas. We've changed some of the operations and processes, which reduced our CSOs, combined sewer overflows, by about 30%. We recently complete, uh, completed another project called our in-system storage. So we used existing underground infrastructure uh, in order to store flow uh, before we released it after a heavy rain event. It's during the heavy rain events that we have these issues. Uh, and uh, that helped us by about 15% reduction. And now we are showing you our marquee project, our really uh, top of the line project, which is, uh, is going to be a state model and a national model for how you successfully reduce combined sewer overflows because what we have done here will reduce our combined sewer overflows uh, by another 50%. All told, we're 75 to 80% reduction. This thing has just gone online. It is uh, an incredible project, as I say. It's about a $30 million project, uh, which we were successful in obtaining both state and federal dollars and uh, some county dollars. So there was not an increase to the rate payers to be able to do any of our projects, quite frankly. Uh, and it's just a, a remarkable engineering achievement. And Vince Astorino, who is our operations manager, uh, this has been his project, really, along with all of these other ones I've talked about, but he's been the lead uh, on this project. And I'm gonna ask Vince to explain to you what you are actually looking at behind us here and what this, uh, uh, this project is gonna mean to the people of Macomb County and to the entire region, because in addition to combined sewer overflows, uh, less discharges out into our beautiful, magnificent Lake St. Clair here, and of course, it's all about water quality, this facility, this new project, is also going to really position us better as stormwater managers to help reduce flooding. And of course, as we all know, the weather's changing and we're getting these much heavier rainfalls. So it's really a, a, a dual purpose here. Vince? Yeah, so this has been a major transformation for this area. This project consisted of all new sheeting around the perimeter of the canal area up to a elevation above the 500 year flood elevation. Uh, to kind of future-proof ourselves, like Candace said, uh, for, for all these climates that are changing. Um, we expanded the canal width-wise. We lowered the canal by about four feet, um, which gives us the ability to ha not only have more storage uh, width and depth, but we can also store higher as well with the new gates that we put at the end, which are actually inflatable bladders with metal crest plates that we're able to store all the way up to the top uh, before we have to discharge, if we have to discharge. Um, we've gone from 3 million gallons before up to 17 million gallons just in this area alone, um, which is a, a major change, major change for this. Um, the canal itself, uh, this whole project, we've had an eye towards aesthetics uh, for the neighboring area as well. Uh, we did decorative stamped concrete on top of the sheeting, uh, the black wrought iron fence all the way around. We put in a nice uh, precast uh, wall with a nautical theme in it. Uh, going down to the boat launch. Um, you know, we, we've done a lot of things with aesthetics to really boost that up as well. Um, as long with the canal, we also did a, a sewer separation project in the area. Uh, we installed a storm sewer going down Nine Mile Road. Um, that, that storm sewer never existed before. All of that storm water used to go right into our treatment process. Now we can separate it and get it out directly to the lake uh, through a trash capture device even. Um, where we're picking up any floatables or any debris that's coming through that line before it goes out to the lake to keep things protected. Um, so, and that, that separated out about 11 acres of area. We also did another storm pipe on the north side of the canal, which picked up another couple acres of storm sewer separation. So uh, all in all, we're, we're just constantly thinking of ways to reduce the flow inputs into our system. Uh, we are in a very heavily populated area uh, we've got a you know major high rise on one side of us with condominiums, and then we have some beautiful condominiums on the other side of us here. So we really did think as much as we possibly could about our neighbors, and as Vince has said with aesthetics here, 
making sure that you know their side of the wall looks well with landscaping, with all these kinds of things. And they're going to be looking at this all the time. So it has been a change in what their view is. And uh, quite frankly, it's a huge improvement in what they were previously looking at. And of course, it serves our purposes as well. And as Vince has mentioned, some of the various things like storm uh, and sanitary sewer, the combined systems, which are now separated. Uh, and then the trash capture, again, that is such an important thing. I mean, everything that comes down these storm drains uh, all the way down from I-94, right? Whether it's plastic bottles, uh, Lord knows what's in there. That all was previously going right out into the lake. Now we're able to capture that trash. Uh, and it's another element, certainly, toward uh, water quality. So all in all, this has been a fantastic project. It's a successful project. We've had a boat launch here for a number of decades. Uh, which, of course, we had to close during construction. The boat launch is open again, and uh, I think that the fishermen are going to be very happy uh, with, uh, with the, the configuration of it and what we've done here as well. And uh, it's all with a nautical theme that's happening here, but it is such a practical element uh, in a really uh, critical component of infrastructure again, for Macomb County. And uh, we like to think we punch above our weight here in Macomb County. So this, uh, this project is really on the leading edge uh, in other counties uh, and uh, regional water and sewer authorities are looking at what we've done here uh, as well they should. Uh, because, you know, we have to change our culture. We have to change our mindset. Just because, uh, you know, we've allowed uh, combined sewer overflows for our lifetimes, quite frankly, in this day and age, we can't keep doing that. We have to be better stewards of our environment. You have to have the political will and invest the money to be able to do these kinds of things. But it's a generational change, uh, which positively accrues to the next generation, that's for sure. So we're excited to uh, open up our Chapaton Pump Station Canal expansion and uh, appreciate your interest. Follow us on social media. For more information, explore our website, reach out via email, or connect through our toll-free hotline, 1-877-679-4337.